So we got all three of my mechanics out here at the range. I'm actually, I'm out here in the country. Got my homeboy Clayton with me. Uh, probably a lot better shooter than I am, ex-military. Appreciate your service, sir. So as you can see, we got all three of my mechanics here. We got the TTI, the Subcontact, the Lead SC, and the TP9 SFX. Uh, Clayton hadn't shot in any mechanic before. This will be his first experience shooting mechanics. Um, so we're gonna let him run all three of these back to back to back. He'll start with this one, the SC. Then we'll have him shoot the TP9 SFX. And then we have him shoot the TTI. Obviously this one has the compensator on it. We're supposed to help him motorize and just see if uh, a shooter who's never shot any of these mechanics before, but has got a lot of experience behind the, the weapon and weapon systems. I see if he can really tell the difference. Uh, obviously you got an upgraded trigger on this one. The triggers on both of these are very good. Got another upgraded trigger on this one, as well as the compensator. And just see if the price point of this TTI is really worth it or not. I've put a few rounds through it. It did feel really good, but I've shot these other candies before as well. So we're going to let Mr. Clayton take some shots, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, up first, we got the TP9 Elite SC. All right, go ahead, Clayton. So I definitely like the balance of this gun. The recoil is nice. Uh, you know, it's only probably got two millimeters of lift, which is easy to reset. And I like the safety pull on the trigger. It's easy to figure out the difference between the safety and pressure zone. So but, overall, that was your first experience shooting a Canik. So what'd you think? I think it's a high quality gun. Think it's a high quality? Back. I do. Like the trigger? I do like the trigger. I like the difference between the safety pull and the pressure zone. Okay. A lot, so, a lot of guns, you can't tell where the safety zone pulls and where the, and the pressure. So then that was my first time shooting it. It was easy to find. Okay. So that was his first shot with the TP9 Elite SC. Now we're going to go grab the TP9 SFX and uh, take some shots. All right. Now we're back with the TP9 SFX. Uh, about to take some shots with this one and see what he thinks. All right, Mr. Clayton, on you. Well, you compare the, the SFX to the subcompact, what'd you think about this firearm first? Uh, I did like this one. It took me a little time, probably the first three or four rounds. It's a little heavy up top. So I kept resetting low, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It took me about three or four yards. But once I got used to it, uh, I like to handle the trigger. I like the balance. It's a little heavy at top side, for my opinion. But I think it's a good handling firearm. Okay, so now compare the SFX to the TP9 Elite SC, the subcompact. I like the SC more. I think on daily carry or something where somebody hasn't shot a lot, the balance of that gun and the ability to keep it down range on target is a whole lot easier. Okay. All right, so now let's go grab the TTI Combat and uh, see what you think about that one. Yep. Now we got the TTI Combat. This will be his first shots running through with this weapon. I'm excited to see how my man likes it. All right, on you, Mr. Clayton. So before you compare this one to the SFX and the Elite SC, what'd you think about the TTI Combat? The one I, that just I came thought it was out. very quality. It's very balanced in my hand. It carries better uh, through the whole pistol in my hand. It doesn't feel top heavy. It felt easier to keep pointed down range on target. Um, so compare, now compare the trigger between the TTI Combat and the other two. The safety pull on this one is not as pronounced on this pistol but if it's truly a combat battle i can understand it. uh so it, it wasn't it didn't inhibit me at all uh i didn't see the triggers and inhibitor on this pistol i i actually am very impressed with this so overall from a the quality standpoint you're picking up the subcompact you're picking up the sfx or you're picking up the tti combat like if money wasn't an option which one would you pick up first you know what? Before you answer that, I think you just need to shoot him again. What you think, man? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, back with the TP9 Elite SC, the subcompact. Uh, Clayton gonna take, I think, four or five, six rounds. We load it up. We'll shoot that one, shoot the SFX, and then shoot the TTI again. All right, on you, sir. All right, now we got the TP9 SFX. All right, go ahead and run some rounds through it.
All right, and last but not least, we got the TTI combat. All right, here we go. All right, so what, what you thinking? That's nice. I, I definitely needed to do a second round. Okay. Yo, know, and I wanted to load it to the chamber. This gun's ability to get around in, get it balanced online down range and fire rounds quickly is nice. Nice. I, this is only my second time shooting this gun. And uh, at the rate of fire that I was shooting, to hit that target five times in a row that fast with the balance of this gun, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very impressed. Okay, so overall, it feels like you're more impressed with the TTI Combat just from a comparison standpoint. But the first one you shot, the, the subcompact, what do you think about that one, the SE? I think if you're somebody with a little less shooting experience, I'd go with the subcompact all day. Okay. Uh, the ability to handle the slide, the balance of it, the point and click nature of it, it is a very, very fine shooting pistol. So you're still, so you're still a Caddy fan? Yeah, I'm still a Caddy fan. Okay, so if you have a little bit one, more experience SFX. handling a heavier gun, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, you know, the ability to handle this gun, keep it on balance, at a rapid rate of fire, I was very, very impressed. So the SFX, which is the gray one, that one's coming in right at, it was 549 when I picked it up. That one is coming in right at 959 or 949, so about $400 more. So in your opinion, with the compensator, uh, remember you got the co-witness with the, the ability to put the optic on the co-witness. You got the bigger fiber optic site here, more slide serrations. Um, is it worth the extra 400 bucks for the TTI combat over the SFX? Yeah, and I'll go a step further. I wouldn't pay, what'd you say, 459? No, 549. 549? Yep. I wouldn't pay 549 for that one. I would pay 900 bucks for this one. All day. So All day.